Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Email me, Sam Ant at thehiphopnews.com. No wait, let's go. Welcome to another episode of the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast. I'm your brother, old guy from Hip Hop News Uncensored. And sitting across from me is my co host. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man, Sam Ant, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News. You're in a building for a very special edition of the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast. We got some very special guests yes, in the yes. evening. We got the beautiful Miss Kristen Harris. And Mr. William Trey Chapman on the podcast. For those of you who don't know, this is the editor in chief of Chief Magazine, yeah, and also the publisher and the executive What's producer up? of Machine Awards. We're very excited to have you guys on. How y'all feeling this afternoon? Feeling good, good. man. Feeling great. All right. Thank you so much for having us. I love podcasts, so thank you for even considering us as guests. Pleasure mm-hmm. is all ours, and we are very excited to check you guys out live and in person next week at the Sheen Awards in Atlanta, Georgia. We are very honored to be a part of that amazing event that yeah. we're going to talk about in a little while. I'm just very excited to meet all of you beautiful people live and in the flesh. So let's get started right there. Sheen Awards. Talk, give, give the people a little bit about what they should expect from the Sheen Awards. From the Sheen Awards, you should expect nothing other than greatness in terms of the people that will be there, in terms of the event itself. So just a little background. It started as an anniversary celebration and then expanded into honoring those who are not only in our magazine, but those who have paved the way throughout the culture and throughout the industry, whether that be entertainment, beauty, fashion, hair, all facets of that are highlighted in the award show. Excellent. Right, so mm-hmm. take us back to, to a little bit of the beginning, if you can. Like, who's the first person to actually have the idea to even get you know the company started? The Sheen Magazines or whatever came first. Well, uh, Kimberly Chapman started the Sheen Magazine idea in 2006. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, started in 2006 because they wanted to give people of our you know, people of our color and our community the ability to actually have some media and some promo that actually it was something that made sense for them you know and it was going to be in the niche that they would really want instead of buying something that's like something that doesn't really care about you you know we kind of tailor a lot of our things to to the community and make sure that it fits exactly what you want to get as a customer when you're coming down to promo and advertising and copy ad and stuff like that now I, I, you have to excuse me i didn't hear the first name but i heard the last name you said chapman yeah kimberly chapman she started seeing are they re- any relation to you yeah that's my mom Oh, I okay. kind of had that feeling. Okay. <laughs> we got to get a little deeper yeah, now, man. <laughs> just yeah, talk about vision. And also, this, is, this is water, just to let y'all know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, appreciate that. But um, yeah, man, take us back. <laughs> even growing up with your mom and the vision, you, you've seen it from kind of behind the scenes, and then you took over and started having a, a, a piece of your own. So just talk. take us back to the very, very beginnings of what you've seen oh, and how you see She Magazine right. beginning. Man, my, my mom, when she did it, she uh she she did the first cover. She did the first picture. Matter of fact, her homegirl's daughter was the first girl, woman that actually graced the cover. And when it came out, you know, it was like a, how can I put it? It was like a, like a, like a, what's some thing? You, you ever been to like when you're riding down, down the highway and you, and you go to one of those stop spots and you got like a, like a city guide or like something restaurant. like that? Yeah. Yeah, like a rest day. It was, you know, some regular paper, man. You get wet, you put your hands on, you know. It, was, it wasn't, but it was, but it started. That was the main thing, you know. Main thing is you got to start somewhere. And then, as we start bringing in other people, you know, graphic designers and finding the right type of person that uh, prints your magazine out and all that kind of stuff, getting the paper right, the stock feel. Before you know it, you get a beautiful project 14 years later. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Now t- the magazine, you know, talk about magazine because we talked to the uh, the owner or the former owner of the source, and at a point in time, like people, you know, I know people still read them, but with the advent of the internet and different Somebody blogs, Benzino, uh, Benzino and the other guy, I forget his name. Was, oh my goodness, dang! I'll just talk. Forget about his name. Yeah, it was like two of them. Yeah, everybody, I kind of forgot his name too, but I know you're talking about. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do we. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how do you had guys- the hip hop awards and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh man, that's kind of the para, the parallel. The that's just kind of ironic, you know that <laughs> when you put them both together like that. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Right. How, how do you guys, you know, um, with the internet being here and people, you know, going for a fast, quick story? How do you guys maintain the business in such a crowded area of internet where people like I like I still like getting magazines, Motor Trend and things like that. I like to look at them in mm-hmm. different magazines, but um. How do you guys keep afloat? 
Um, I would say the main thing is, it's funny that uh, Trey told me this a while ago, but the thing about media, regardless of what platform it's on, is people want to read not only about themselves, but also how to create and grow and learn. And I think that's what Sheen provides for everyone, because everybody that's in the magazine not only is being spotlighted, but they're taking their skills and things like that, and they're making sure to pass it along to somebody else. Um, and I think that's what's really been holding it down for real on that part. And then also the covers, regardless, like you said, you still have to pick up a physical magazine. I still anticipate looking at all the magazine covers that right. come out now, regardless of if it's Sheen or another outlet, because the creativity, you can't get that from necessarily just, you know, a photo shoot that somebody posts on Instagram or right. the behind the scenes and the personal touches that you get to have with these people as they share their stories. And I think that's one thing that's really kept Sheen relevant is the fact that we're not only touching our audience, but specific people as well. Plus on top of that, to compound on top of that, people, once people found out like Instagram, you could buy blue checks and block follows and all that kind of stuff, it kind of got capped. And the thing about it is people know websites is real. You know what I'm saying? Going to YouTube, looking at certain things, having an app, your own streaming thing, that's 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 real. You know, Instagram, right. you can you can you can you can manipulate Instagram a lot of different ways. And it was cool for like, you know, four, five, six, seven years, but just tell me if a person don't have a blue check, how and they, they might be a celebrity not on Instagram. Like Jay Z is not on Instagram, but he is a right. celebrity. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kinda like that check doesn't really mean that you're gonna that you're gonna just win. Doesn't happen like that. You know, that the real world is out here outside the cell phone. So we, we got a real touch to our customers and they and they vibe with us like that. Dope. Now kind of to extend on the social media aspect, you guys have Sheeta, excuse me, Sheen Media Group. Explain mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, go ahead. So Sheen Media Group, oh, you can go, go ahead and do your thing. So Sheen Media Group actually came a bit after Sheen Magazine, but the goal of it is just to kind of touch that digital side of things. So whether that be movies, podcasts, um, all different types of things. We have a show called STM, which highlights models throughout, you know, the world and things like that. So I think the really, and Trey can, you know, kind of speak more to this, but the development was more so so we could touch that digital audience as well as provide services for those who are trying to learn more about how to use those platforms. Oh, absolutely. And then the thing about a media company is, man, you know, like look at all the different media, Warner Media Group, uh, the wine, I probably can't even say it, but the Weinstein, you know, all them people had media companies that did movies, TV shows, that had script writers, executive producers, all that kind of stuff. And with the magazine, yeah, we had that just on the on the magazine side. But when it comes down to a person saying, hey, my movie want to go in your magazine and can we come behind scenes and script write? Can we do X, Y, and Z? It's like, oh, yeah, we got a team of people that do all that. Let's get it done. Mm. So it was built like that, you know, and it's uh doing well, you know, media pretty fun. Hey, are there any like notable people that you can name that, you know, that you did a story about or, you know, highlighted on your platform that you care to share with the audience? Hmm, probably our I recent feel, Oh, go ahead. Well, the person that I personally, that we did a story on that I really enjoyed, mm -hmm. which I said, you know, a lot of times about it, Zay told me. I feel like he's one of the great, probably the greatest producer ever for the Trap Arena. Mm -hmm. And he yeah. curated a sound basically to me that that I think, well, I, I, in my opinion, I'm standing on this. He started something that everybody else copied. I don't think the trap arena would have been anywhere without Gucci Man and Zay Tobin. So when we did a story on him, I actually really, really, really felt good about that. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. For me, it would probably and be Omarion. So Omarion. Omarion. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got Omarion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then we oh did another another person that we honored on it, Pastor Troy, down south legend. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I can keep going, but I'm just saying, yeah, those right, two right. things had to stand out to be. Yeah, dope, man. Indeed, indeed. Now talk about Sheen Talk TV. You guys are doing it big over there at Sheen Magazine and the Sheen brand and Sheen TV. Talk about that. So before there was Sheen Media Group, there was Sheen Magazine TV, um, which is just our YouTube channel, but that's what houses all of our digital content. So Sheen Talk Live, a show again started by Mrs. Kimberly Chapman, which just highlighted different entrepreneurs and everybody from different like facets of life again. And um, 
as well as the behind the scenes of our covers and all kinds of things you can find there on our YouTube, which will now be transitioning to the app. But mm -hmm. um, it was like the baby of Sheen Media Group. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, oh, do you want to go ahead? Go ahead, brother. Oh, no, I was just agreeing. I was just saying, yeah. Okay. Now, back to the award ceremony. Um, talk about at like the birth of that, like when somebody say, you know what, let's start, let's do an award ceremony to actually honor these people. And um, when was the first one and how's it been, how's it been going since? Well, how I started was my, you know, Miss Chapman, she was like, it was it, like Chris was saying, it was a, uh, just a celebration of the magazine. Basically it was just so we could get on stage and stunt. Gotcha. It was like, man, dang, we stunt so hard. We might as well let other people watch us do that. So right. then before you know, we ended up with an award show. Well, I mean, <laughs> you made it sound so easy, but now you guys are broadcasting live on Fox Soul. Right. You got major people walking the red carpet and yeah, things going I'm on out there. Even harder. I'm stunting so hard, man. It don't make no sense. <laughs> <laughs> so talk, talk more about it. Talk about like just the, the overall, like how it's kind of grew since its inception, because this year, I mean, it's a star studded event. We've seen a lot of the names that are going to be there. And I'm mm -hmm. sure we have a lot more that we don't know about. So. Just talk oh, yeah. about where, where it's at now in 2022, Atlanta, pre or post pandemic, everybody's starting to get back out. So just talk about the feeling around it now. Man, it's cool how you like talk about the post pandemic thing. Cause, cause prior to the pandemic, we was like, it was black tie. You had to sit down, eat some chicken, you know, do some, some, have some teas and all that kind of stuff. But now when the COVID came and then when it ended, we was like, okay, we got to get people back outside what they want to do. They want to stand up. They want to watch something virtual. They want to be in the room. They want to feel like it's a lot of people there, but not too many people there. Mm -hmm. where you don't feel comfortable you know what i'm saying then you want to make it feel a little bit more youthful because a lot of young people man they don't they're not really concerned about putting on a, a tuxedo or you can wear that you know because we sexy chic over here you know what i'm saying we told a joke in the office was like man how you want to how you want the fashion to be i was like make it dope boy chic you're like nah 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 nah. we can't we can't do that <laughs> but yeah so it basically just updated itself all the way through that and we've been doing it so long that people just kind of start looking at it like let's let's stream it here let's put it there and people just man people pull up that's not even on the list. Like, yo, I'm here. I want to get on the red carpet and take some pictures. Oh. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, yeah, definitely for sure. Since the pandemic, last year we just did a virtual show and had a few guests there. But this year, since we are able, again, to partner with Fox Soul, which is a perfect marriage, we have kind of the same mission as them in terms of entertaining and making sure we're educating our community specifically. Um, so it's perfect that we're working together, but this year to kind of have everyone live and be back outside again um, is, I think, honestly great because, you know, connecting has been something we've been missing throughout the pandemic and still people are trying to learn how to reconnect. So I think Sheen Awards, the Sheen Magazine Awards is a perfect place to start. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Excellent. All right. So we're on the on the hills of the sheen awards coming out or next thursday i believe it excuse me it airs and we're very excited about that real quick talk about some of the lineup you want to go ahead yeah oh okay yeah so we will be honoring um james debose who is the head of fox soul so that's going to be great that he'll actually physically be there to be honored for all of his contributions to the industry um we've got bob sumner who is one of the creators of comedy def jam um, Aaliyah J, she's a beauty influencer with a huge fan base um, throughout social media. Um, Omarion, who is our cover star, star right now, his issue just dropped yesterday. Um, he's one of our trailblazers in music. And we're also honoring those who help create the looks that we see often. So our creative artists in beauty, hair, makeup, photography, just those who really help us, you know, get those photo shoots together and help us make a beautiful product. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. A lot so of honorary going on. Yes, sir. We got William Trey Chapman and Kristen Harris on the Hip Hop yes, Center yeah. podcast. This what, what are we? What today is Wednesday? I'm yeah. so tired. Wednesday <laughs> afternoon. Can't <laughs> wait to that go to the Sheen Awards and do our thing. All right, before we get out of here, I got one question for both of y'all. Okay. Answer it however you want. What's the importance of a good team to both Ooh. of you? Man, that's a. Good I mean, question. the importance of a good team is like. You want to be, you know what I'm saying, the dream team, or you want to be Jane, John Wall? Like, 
<laughs> like, what the? Yeah, right. Yeah, like, oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer? Okay. Now, um, wall, see that, you're going to be like, oh, man. You're right, though. Oh, Lord. The importance of a good team is um, just knowing that regardless, you're always covered. You have people who will have your back. Our team here is mm-hmm. remote, but we're also in an office together as well. And I just think that us being able to communicate properly and, you know, fix problems as soon as they arise is super important. Um, And without it, you know, we wouldn't be who we are or what Sheen Magazine is. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're powerful. Um, Let us know, let the people know when the award is going down one more time and where they can actually uh, watch it if it's going to be live. So you can um, purchase your tickets for the actual show by heading to sheenmagazine.com. It will be next Thursday, September 8th at the Sheraton Atlanta. Um, And for more information, again, head to Sheen Magazine. Um, The show will air a little bit after that on Fox Soul. The date is TBA. And um, if you need any instant information, you can head to Sheen Magazine on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Oh, yeah. We definitely appreciate your time. Kristen Harris and William Trey Chapman on the Hip Hop and Sensitive Podcast. We'll see you guys next week. Until yes. then, stay blessed. We Thank appreciate you y'all. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.